The type of radiation I'll be talking about today is called technetium 99 m which is the most commonly used radioisotope in medicine. It is artificially produced by the neutron activation of molybdenum 99 m and emits gamma radiation. As mentioned before, technetium 99 m is the most commonly used radioisotope in medicine. It's used as a diagnostic tool as a tracer and scans to locate and diagnose conditions. It's used to image skeleton and heart muscle specifically, but also to image the brain, kidney, lungs, liver, spleen and bone, and also for blood flow studies. The technetium 99M is injected into the desired part of the body that is being tested, and if there is an accelerated growth, the technetium 99M becomes attracted to it, which makes the gamma rays visible on the scan taken during the test. When the gamma rays are visible, it means that a cancerous or tumorous growth has been located. The use of technetium 99M increases the chance that cancer or other health effects will result from exposure to radioactivity. However, that is a risk that comes with using any type of radioactive material and is not specific to technetium 99M. More specific to technetium 99M is the side effects, which can include dizziness, transient arthritis, abdominal pain, vomiting, fever, rash, fatigue, dry mouth, and severe hypersensitivity. However, the use of technetium 99M has incredible benefits. Its half-life is only six hours, which is enough time for the tests needed to be taken, but is short enough to minimize the radiation exposure to the patient and limits the potential for health effects. To put it simply, technetium 99M has been an extremely useful tool for diagnosing many different medical conditions. Compared to other radioisotopes with stronger levels of radiation and a longer half-life, technetium 99M isn't as harmful. In fact, it's helped more people than it's hurt, and the list of side effects is yet to make people averse to using technetium 99M.